The concept of having a two-thirds legislative vote for tax increases is once again a hot topic. You have a constitutional amendment to address this. Tell us about that. The reason I'm running this constitutional amendment is we've been running this two-thirds majority vote for the last 10 years, and it seems that every time it's run, the majority of citizens, well over 55 percent, are saying, let's have a two-thirds majority vote before you can raise taxes. Well, we start a session and we have the majority party, the Democrats, at least in the House, who say, no, I don't want that two-thirds. And so they have enough of a vote themselves to override it. So they've got a 60 percent vote. So uh, here they are with nearly a two-thirds majority vote, and they're voting to, to get rid of that two-thirds majority vote. So let's quit running the taxpayers and running our constituents through all these initiative processes and have them get off the Lucy and Charlie Brown football syndrome and let's just put, make it constitutional, get it over with, and try to structure ourselves so we live within our means. And this is a, I believe this is just a matter of good government. I think that uh, Tim Eyman and those who have been pushing this two-thirds majority vote have been right on and I'm, that's why I'm doing this constitutional amendment. You mentioned the possibility of some new House rules. I've heard there's another House rule that has to do with citizen testimony. Tell us about that. Well, that's the same kind of way I've run my office for the last nine years is that citizens who come over from the district to my office here in Olympia have priority over everybody else that may have had a scheduled time to come in and see me. If they have not had a scheduled time, I make the time and we, we, we redo the appointments for those who have had scheduled time who are not from my district. Now, what this means is that by putting this as, an, as a rule for the House, this means that anybody who comes from district and they call, it, call my legislative assistant, make an appointment, are scheduled into the process, they get into my office and if they want to do testimony in front of a House committee or a Senate committee, particularly in the House right now, this would be a rule that would allow them to have first ups talking about their issues concerning some sort of bill before, say, the Appropriations Committee, which I serve on, Higher Education Committee, which I serve on, or any committee, uh, for that matter, that other legislators might serve on to. So if people come over to Olympia from the 8th Legislative District, are folks going to be able to talk with you and visit with you? Uh, yes, call my legislative assistant at 360-786-7986 and let us know that you're coming over. That way I can schedule time where we can sit in my office, close the door and talk and have a cup of coffee also because the coffee's always on here. We'll make time for you.